You see the news headlines every week. You hear stories on the radio. You see them happen on the roadways. Work and construction zone accidents. Roadway work zones are hazardous for both the motorists who drive through them and for the workers who are on the road building, repairing, and maintaining our nation's streets, bridges, and highways. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, there were over 3,000 reported fatalities in motor vehicle crashes in work zones over the past five years. And the sad reality is that many of these accidents, injuries, and deaths can be avoided by following a few safety tips whenever you're traveling through work and construction zones. This module will review some of the dangers you may encounter when driving through work and construction zones, and will share seven driving tips to help you safely navigate through these areas. Construction zones present a variety of dangers, including narrow lanes, shifting lanes, merging traffic, slowing and stopping traffic, unexpected work vehicles entering the traffic flow, temporary speed limit adjustments, flaggers in the roadway, confused drivers, and other activities that can distract you. Heavy construction can occur at any time of the year, but the highway construction season tends to ramp up as summer approaches. Knowing how to safely maneuver through these road construction projects will save you time and money and will help you avoid getting into an accident. Driving defensively is key when traveling through work and construction zones. As you drive, consider the following safety tips to help you navigate through these cone zones. Tip number one, know the signs. Warning signs for work and construction zones consist of a black legend on an orange background. These areas are also typically marked by orange traffic cones, heavy equipment, flashing lights, and people dressed in lime-colored vests and hard hats. As you're driving, pay attention to the road signs and look ahead for any orange cone zones coming up. When you see an orange sign warning you in advance of a construction zone coming up, take advantage of the advance warning to slow down, exit, or change lanes if you need to. Tip number two, slow down. Speeding is one of the leading causes of work zone related crashes, so slow down and take your time. Just like an exit ramp, the posted speed limit in work zones is designed for passenger vehicles. Slow down even more than what's posted to keep yourself and others safe. Tip number three, don't tailgate. This is a safety tip that you should follow at all times when you're behind the wheel, but it's especially important when driving through work and construction zones. Sudden, sometimes unexpected stops are common in these areas. Always maintain a safe distance from other vehicles and leave plenty of room for sudden stops. Take advantage of your driving height and anticipate braking situations. Tip number four, minimize distractions. As you drive through work and construction zones, avoid changing the radio station, looking out the window for too long, or other activities that take your focus away from the road. At all times, dedicate your full attention to the roadway. And as always, put your cell phone away and make your calls or answer your messages when you've safely stopped operating your vehicle at an authorized location. Tip number five, expect the unexpected. Work and construction zones and the potential delays that come with them can occur at any hour of the day or night and can often come up without a lot of warning. Traffic lanes may be changed from what you're used to and people are generally working near the road. When you see a flag or warning sign, you're almost certain to encounter a pedestrian standing in or near the traffic lane. They or their equipment can easily move into your lane. So slow down, be alert, and be ready to stop. Also, other motorists can speed up quickly in an effort to get in front of you with no warning and very little room. Anticipate these things happening and increase your following distance even more. Tip number six, keep a safe distance between your vehicle and the road workers and their equipment. Barrels or barriers often restrict lanes and create a very narrow lane of travel for a tractor trailer. Further complicating this are inexperienced drivers who are nervous driving near these barriers, thus decreasing the space you have even further. Road equipment may also be located very close to traffic lanes, along with the workers operating their machinery. Be very cautious and always on the lookout for flaggers, heavy equipment, and other vehicles in work and construction zones, especially at night. Tip number seven, stay patient and remain calm. Work zones aren't there to personally inconvenience anyone. They're necessary to improve the roads you drive on every day. Getting frustrated only makes a dangerous situation more dangerous. As you drive through work and construction zones, give yourself plenty of time so you won't feel rushed and aggravated that traffic and construction work is slowing you down, making you late, 
and give yourself plenty of space so you don't get frustrated with other motorists on the road. Keeping your cool will keep you and everyone else on the road safe. Penalties for speeding and committing other traffic violations in work and construction zones are severe, depending on the state and the violation. Most states at least double the original fines related to the violation, and some increase the number of points assessed to your license or require mandatory jail time. If you injure or kill a highway worker, you could also face mandatory jail time. For example, if you injure a highway worker in Michigan, you face up to one year in prison. And if you kill them, you face up to 15 years in prison. Work and construction zone safety is everyone's responsibility. As a professional on the road, do your part every time you get behind the wheel to make sure everyone gets home safe. Don't let yourself become one of the headlines. If you have any questions on construction zone safety, please contact someone on the safety team 